morning. It's good to be in church this morning. Welcome to Spires Life Church. We're going to be worshipping our Lord this morning, going to be celebrating with a family this morning as they dedicate their little one to the Lord Jesus Christ. We have the kids in the house this morning, yes? yes. Give the Lord Jesus Christ a big hand. Now we're going to try and move all around and be as good as we can. Once we haven't spoken to him in a long, long time, we're before. We've been very best reading in Jesus' name. or roadblocks in the way of our children, but rather let's open up possibilities and opportunities for them. I think we live in an era right now, an age in our nation, where we need to be more and more on about this for our kids. Uh, we need to be doing the right thing by them. We need to be moving against any, any, any pressures that want to take our kids where God will not have them to go. So I'd say let's respect our children. Let's affirm and encourage our children. God said, to his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, this is my beloved son, uh, with him I am well pleased. And the parents would want to say to Margot, this is our beloved daughter, with her we are well pleased. And as a congregation, we want to say amen to that. Uh, we, we want to be uh, parents who are well pleased with our kids. Uh, let's teach our children positive values. That's what flows from this scripture this morning. Uh, let's mold our children with positive virtues. That's what flows from this scripture. Let's involve our children in the adventures of life. Uh, parents, you can do that. You can open up the ways and keep them safe. Uh, let's protect our children because there are so many things that need protecting from. 
uh, in this age in which we live. Let's value our children. That's you, Marco. Let's value our children. Let's love our children. And this morning, uh, we want to say yes to these things. So there'll be two vows coming up on the screen. The first one I will read all the way through, and parents will say, I do to that. And the second one I'll ask you to stand, and we'll all say that one together. So here we go with this vow that we're going to say this morning on our screen. You promise independence upon God to train up Margo to the best of your ability and to give wise counsel, care, provision and support for her emotional, relational, physical and spiritual well-being. Now it's your turn. And now uh, church, if you stand on your feet. Here we go all together. We promise to support and encourage this family as they seek to live according to the pattern and potential for which God created them, and as they seek to raise my road to pursue her God-given destiny. Would you bow your heads with me? And if you're comfortable with it, just stretch out your hands towards my road as we pray. And Father, I want to thank you this morning for Clinton and Courtney, and uh, they stepped on this platform to receive a blessing from you as they dedicate themselves to the task, uh, to the responsibility, uh, to, to, the, to the precious gift of Margot and raising her up to be all that she can be in your sight. Father God, I, I commend Clint and uh, Courtney to you and I commend Margot to you. Father, give, give these parents all that is necessary, all that they need to invest in the life of this little girl and I commend them to you and to your grace in Jesus' wonderful name. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thanks, guys. Later on, we're going to give you a certificate for right now. Thanks for being part of this service this morning. Give me a chance. If you're on your feet, get on your feet. I've got a song to sing here this morning. Praise our wonderful Lord God.